In my quest for accomplishing ever stupider ideas, here we are with another gem. Every time we level up, extra damage, but we lose 2 max HP. Add to that a single pistol and we're ready to go. So basically we're gonna continually add damage, we just need to keep adding HP. Wave 1, as always, not much of a problem at all. So we're gonna start off with some luck. We're also gonna make things cheaper and add another gun. So we've already added some damage, we've lost HP. And we only have 9 HP in total, so we're gonna make things a little bit cheaper again. We're gonna reroll looking for anything HP oriented. When we don't find it, we're moving on. So the trick right now is very much don't get hit. We do wanna level up, but we also very much need more HP at the same time. This build could get absolutely stupid, provided we can just keep up with our HP problems. We'll take range damage and do some range. All right, where's my HP? HP regeneration is not what we need. 3 max HP, perfect. We're gonna take a third pistol for now, wow. We're, they're gonna be giving items away at this price. Uh, okay, we're gonna get cheaper items again and lock. So we've gained 1 HP, we now have 11 in total, which is very scarily little. Luckily we've got 3 pistols and lots of damage. With all the damage we're adding now that I think about it, I should be using SMGs. We can get take better advantage of all that plus 1 damage if we're firing more bullets. But that's okay, we'll get that figured out eventually. There's some extra range which we'll take, there's 3 HP which we'll take. For now I will just take a pistol because we can't wait for an SMG, it might take a while. Okay, we already found an SMG. That's doing 5 damage already, and that fires a lot. And things like this are going to be our friend. That's going to give 5 max HP, we'll buy that next round. With a build like this, especially if we're using something fast firing, we don't actually need to buy anything that's going to add damage. I just walked into a bullet when I really shouldn't have, luckily we survived, but we did lose a large chunk of our HP considering how little we have. And wave 4 naturally though isn't putting up much resistance at all, especially with my assault of bullets. Okay, there's also an item for 3 max HP, we're definitely going to take that. Also, 6 max HP, we gotta get ahead on that, so we're going to lose some range but gain more HP here as well. Uh, we're also going to gain some harvesting here. I feel safe now because we're up to 25 HP. Which sounds strange, but that suddenly feels like a luxury to me. There's a few rare artifact type items we're definitely going to want. They can like continually boost our max HP, but until we find them, we're just going to have to keep stacking items just like we are. But with a build like this, we're stacking all kinds of damage, so we'll be able to utilize all kinds of weapons. For now, we're just taking the safe option to get there. I rolled a few times, I don't want to waste too much money, so we're going to add 10 harvesting. That puts us up to 19 in total. We're going to buy another SMG and another pistol that uh, automatically merge into a tier 2 pistol. We're going to buy another one. So we have two tier 2 pistols. And we're going to put the rocket launcher tier 3 on lock. If I have to explain why, you just wouldn't get it. And then it's back to the good old fashioned massacre. We got to free him out of that tree, but so far nothing's going to stand a chance. Our damage is getting really high already. The SMGs are sitting at 7 because we've added 8 ranged damage already and we haven't manually upgraded that a single time. Speed is nice, damage is nice, armor is nice. We're going to actually percentages are going to get big because if we get like an extra 100 damage that would mean an extra 8 damage on top of that. But now we'll take speed and 9 max HP. That's a really good one. Then we're also going to take uh, the rocket launcher. Once we combine more pistols, so we have two tier 1 SMGs, those are fine as tier 1s for now because they're so strong anyway. We're going to lock the tier 2 pistol, actually we're just going to buy the tier 2 pistol and lock the tree. But now we're armed with some tier 3 weapons, we've got 31 HP. The important thing is we got a rocket launcher, so maybe if we can make explosions big enough, we could just rule everything with a rocket launcher. Wave 7 is done, we've got several hundred dollars to spend, 30 HP, still 3 max HP, yes. We also just added another 6 max HP, we're going to buy the tree thing. Then I'm actually going to take the bowler hat because that adds a lot of luck and harvesting, both of which are going to pay dividends and those stats will pay for the other things we just lost anyway. So no new weapons but still lots of damage because the big guys are evaporating, I think mostly from the rocket launcher. And we'll see what kind of fun weapons we find along the way. We found a few tier 3s already but with this extra luck hopefully we'll start finding tier 4s and that'll dictate what kind of build we have ultimately. Enemies are starting to get stronger. They're starting to like exist on the screen for just a little longer, so we are gonna need more weapons and damage quite soon. Uh, we'll take 15% luck there. I was hoping I'd have more levels than that. Uh, we're gonna take range damage and attack speed. I'm gonna buy the pocket factory. Uh, plus two engineering. Killing a tree spawns a turret. We kill a lot of trees. Uh, plus 20 luck. We lose regeneration, but we like luck. And if I buy a tier two pistol, we now have a tier three pistol. 40 damage, and that fires once per second. The SMGs are still doing eight damage but they do fire quite often. And pretty soon we'll combine some of those into a tier 4 weapon as well. Then we'll replace them with other weapons and we'll just keep on stacking all the damage. 
Wave 9 is a lot of fun because there's just a lot of basic idiots dropping a lot of basic materials for me to enjoy. It's definitely easier than the previous wave. That's probably based on my build, but so far, no problem whatsoever for these morons. We're definitely starting to make some money. I'm gonna buy 15% attack speed because that's a big upgrade. Then after spinning a whole bunch, we didn't really get anything good, so plus 10 harvesting will work. 54 harvesting. Oh, we got the piggy bank. That's actually really good. We're definitely buying that. Then I'm going to lock alloy because that's further going to boost everything except dodge. And then our piggy bank's going to go to work for us. 20% interest every wave. So the bigger, the more money we have, the more we're going to make every single round. And we're already making pretty good money. I feel like I'm long overdue to upgrade my SMGs at this point though. And we're down to 34 max HP, so we definitely got to top that up as well. But wave 10 is definitely a little bit harder, like we're not just evaporating all of the enemies, so it's time for more damage. Plus for ranged damage, I can't say no to that. Okay, we're also going to combine our SMG into a level 2 SMG, but then we're also going to buy level 3. That does 18 damage. Then I'm also going to buy this, that's going to give us 5 max HP that we need. Then we're going to leave that money as an investment, because we're up to 650 already. But we're doing a lot more damage than we just were. And we're starting to get the musical morons spawning, so this is good, because they can be really annoying if you can't kill them fast. Wave 11 has gotten a little bit easier thanks to our added damage, and it's only going to get better from here. There's another 6 max HP, and if we could turn this into more HP, but uh, we'll take some armor, because that's going to help keep us alive in a big way. We've broken over $1,000, uh, so we'll maybe treat ourselves to, say, alloy. There's a few tempting choices here, but we're not going to worry about that. We're up to 60 harvesting and we're back over $1,000 already. We really need our money to build up. We need to buy a few things along the way, but the more money we have, the more we make. The best kind of weapons we're looking for, at least ranged-wise, is going to be a minigun or a laser minigun. There are also some very nice swords out there that I would love, so if we find one of those, we'll throw a sword into the mix. Wave 12 is over, we murdered everyone. There's 9 max HP, that's perfect. There's another 3 max HP, we lose some um, range, but that's okay, I'm finally gonna buy the Pocket Factory. Also a level 2 SMG, we're gonna reroll, we're still over $1,000 anyway, we're definitely gonna get that luck next round, and then we're just gonna go for the next wave. Our tier 3 SMG, by the way, is up to 21 damage, its cooldown is 0.13, so it's firing 7 times a second. And there's our first turret, because we killed a tree. The turret's doing 26 damage. I think that's based off of our ranged damage as well, so the turrets are only going to get better with time. So we need to be a real tree murderer. HP feels a little better. We're starting to get the big guys with helmets, so damage is going to be important now. If those guys hit us, it's going to hurt. Plus now I can kind of camp out around my turrets and they'll help me out. They'll definitely do a lot of damage on my behalf. Yeah, there's a tier 3 pistol. That's going to evolve straight into a tier 4. That's 71 damage and it fires every three quarters of a second. Also, we're going to add that luck. Then it's back to work, but we have a tier four weapon now, so that feels really good because those are really, really strong. We've already got so much extra of every kind of damage, and that can stack up into all sorts of fun builds. Another wave down. We don't need lifesteal. We just won't get hit. We'll take 15% attack speed. We're up to almost $2,000. Uh, we're going to do this. That adds HP. We lose crit chance, but our crit chance is in the negative right now anyway. HP regeneration is also in the negative, but we'll fix that later. We're going to get 5 max HP out of this. And then we're just going to jump right back into it. But that puts us up to $2,000 already. So every round, I think we're going to make $300 off of our piggy bank. Correction, $400. It's a 20% interest. If we could find another piggy bank, we'd really be getting somewhere. But that's still 400 easy dollars, and it's going up every time we get more money. Starting to get hit just a little bit, mostly because I'm not really paying attention. But I should probably start because it's only going to take a few hits of the wrong thing to have me dead. I feel like I need more explosives. There's too many of these clusters of enemies that aren't evaporating quick enough. We need much more explosive and explosive damage. Well, there's another 9 max HP that we badly need. There's a tier 3 rocket, tier 2 rocket launcher. Oh, perfect. This is actually what we need. Plus 1 max HP when picking up a consumable while at maximum health. We can get plus 10 per wave. So that basically solved our HP problem. So now we'll just endlessly stack damage without really trying. We're going to buy this. So now we have another tier 3 pistol. And we're going to combine that with the other tier 3. So now we have two tier 4 pistols. That way we could buy a level 2 rocket launcher. Uh, also, enemies now have a 20% chance to explode for 31 damage when they die, and that damage is going to go up and up and up. You know what? We're also going to buy the Peacock. 25% XP gain. The more uh, XP we gain, the more damage we add. 100% XP gain next wave. Enemies do more damage. I just won't get hit. Plus, I have more tier 4 weapons. Plus, extra rocket launchers, so we are in really, really good shape. Now, we're destroying things again. Yep, so far, we're making this wave look really, really easy. The big uh, guy with horns almost touched me. But we're also putting our HP up. I forgot I need to be collecting the health things. 
So by the end of wave 16, we're up to 80 max health. I was worried we're going to be struggling against that the whole way, but we got very lucky. HP won't be a problem anymore, so I'm not going to uh, get it. I'm going to add a bit of speed. We're going to add some HP regeneration. I think I might have forgot to buy the Peacock last time. Oh, I didn't. That was just coincidental that another one showed up. I'm going to combine my SMG into a tier 4 SMG. This one's doing 31 damage and firing 9 times a second. And we're going to start doing a lot of thrusting because I found a tier 2 sword and I just can't help myself. Uh, we're going to lock the tier 3 rocket launcher. Also, I found this. Plus 3 max HP at the end of a wave, plus 1 HP regeneration at the end of a wave, and plus 1 lifesteal. That's just going to stack endlessly and make us perpetually stronger. All that really matters right now is that we have a sword. We also have $2,500. We could have more by now, but we've been spending the money as we went because it's a little bit more efficient to do it that way. And this is exactly the kind of build that could take a very weird, fun turn. With, like, next round, we could have an entirely different build just because we've got that kind of options now. The enemies are still strong, but at least they have this sword now, so if things do get close, they get sorted really badly. Max HP is rising. Went to eight those. We're up to 88. 91. Look at all the luck we're going to get, too. We're up to 115 already. We're going to add some dodge. And then we're going to add more dodge here. We're going to lose damage. We're going to put that right back on. We're going to add the tier 2 rocket launcher. We now have a tier 4. That does 108 damage already. Here's another good one I wish I found earlier. Plus 3 damage at the end of a wave. So 10 waves will now that adds straight up 30 damage. That's free. We're going to lock this one. Plus 25% explosion size. Uh, we have two rocket launchers and we may soon have more. So we can make explosions that hit everything on the map even better. The enemies on wave 18 are coming at us very quickly, but we're destroying them just as quick as they're moving toward us. At this point, I feel like we can start stacking up damage in a big way as well. Okay, so 25% explosion size. We're going to add armor, crit chance, engineering speed. We're going to lose uh, HP regeneration and lifesteal. I'm going to add a little bit more XP gain with this. We're going to lose a bit of luck, but we've got a lot of luck we can lose. We are rolling in luck at this point. Seared Sausage is also funny. We have a 1 in 4 chance to deal 28 times 3 burning damage. Plus our burning spreads to other idiots. So anything that doesn't immediately die will hopefully get lit on fire and then the fire will spread to all the other idiots and then it's just a chain reaction of fiery apocalypse. Mm, we're doing okay on damage. It still could be better. Like, we still see the enemies and that's just always a problem for me. They need to evaporate as soon as they spawn. 10% attack speed? Yes. Uh, another 10% attack speed? Yeah, why not? We'll take another 20% XP gain and lose some range. I'm actually going to do that twice. I know our range is starting to suffer, but we'll be able to put that back on. We will take 25% chance to deal 30 current damage to random enemies when an enemy dies. Wave 20 is the boss wave, so we'll see what they do against our damage. So far, they're melting. Mm, we're not doing the most damage in the world, but I think we're going to defeat the boss fairly handily. It did manage to hit us a few time times thanks to its uh, glowy balls. We'll hopefully put that HP back on. and well, We get so much stronger every wave anyway. It doesn't really matter what we do at this point. Ooh, wait, we gotta break the trees first. Trees are turrets and items. Okay, that thing's dead. We got a red box in the bank. Now we gotta wait for the wave to run out, but that shouldn't take long at all, and we win. Plus 25% damage against bosses and elites. That's actually a big one. Plus 10 range. Uh, there's all of our range back. That put our range into a big plus. Plus we get extra lifesteal and dodge. And 16% damage on top of all that. That was a really, really lucky bunch. We're up to 43% dodge already. My SMG is up to 41 damage, so we just need a super SMG, otherwise known as a minigun. This is nice. 100% chance to deal 208 damage to an enemy when dodging their attack. Given that our dodge is uh, getting up there, we're going to hurt enemies a lot. We're going to also add another 8% uh, dodge right away. Plus 10% attack speed, 5% crit chance, 15 range, and 30 luck. Those were some really, really good finds. We're going to be absolutely massacring everything for a little while. Wave 21 was strangely easy, but given the incredible upgrades we just got, maybe that's not much of a surprise. Look at all these beautiful options. Uh, I guess we'll just take 4 ranged damage. Plus a little bit more range and attack speed, we're losing lifesteal again, but we've got lifesteal to spare. <laughs> we're gonna get cheaper items still, so we saved almost a thousand dollars on items already so far. Here's the kind of thing we've been looking for. Uh, we're going to go ahead and recycle Rocket Launcher Tier 2, and we're going to buy Rocket Launcher Tier 5, 156 damage. Also, 25% chance to deal 47 damage to an enemy when they die. We already have one of those, so it's a 50% chance, roughly. Look at all of our red weapons now. Those RPGs are going to be doing massive amounts of damage. We have all of our Tier 4 guns absolutely destroying everything. Then we have a single Tier 2 sword that's mostly just lonely. Wave is done. Chameleon. We lose 4% damage, but we gain 3% dodge and 20% dodge while standing still. 4 armor? I'll take that. Now we take 44% less damage and we got a potato. Look at all the good stuff we get. I'm not even going to read that. We're also going to add a bunch of damage and harvesting. And then we're back to work again. 
I feel like we might need more luck to find more of those high-end items. We found a few of them for quite early on, but they've been a little sparse lately. There's another 20 luck, which is up to 162. Uh, there's another 20 luck again, plus some dodge. We're gonna uh, save the poisonous mushroom for next time because that's gonna add attack speed and crit chance. Crit chance is probably needing to go up. Which seems funny because we're already doing a ridiculous amount of damage and our explosions are getting big. There's another SMG. Those are up to 57 damage at this point. The sword's up to 165, but I think the SMG is just more straight damage. What I will do is buy something called a lightning shiv. 124 damage. Hitting an enemy spawns a projectile that bounces 4 times and deals 58 fire damage. So we can get rid of a pistol for that sort of action. So now we do have all tier 4 weapons. My weapons don't exactly match, but they somehow just work. More luck. And more luck again. Uh, we also have 3% damage at the end of a wave. We'll have 2 of these now, so we're going to get 6% damage at the end of a wave. That seems unnecessary and exactly why we need it. Wave 26. Uh, things are definitely escalating. Enemies are getting much, much stronger, but so are we. We mostly just explode them in an instant. And we got a free explosive turret. Spawns a turret that shoots explosive bullets, dealing 85 damage in an area at that. So I think they also get bigger explosions. Wow, look at all this. Crit chance is currently 10. It's now double. We're also going to take an extra 40% experience gain because you can never have too much of that. And there's our little turret going to work. He's going to fire lots of giant explosions at enemies. Mm, the enemies are getting pretty strong though, like the turret's not evaporating them. We still are, but uh, give it another 5 waves and we'll see where we're at with that. But the best part is every time we complete a wave, our damage goes up. So we're at 70% bonus damage. So at this point, we're really just looking for the very best of items. There's a lot of small upgrades we can get along the way, but it's hard to find anything that's considered a substantial upgrade at this point. A potato is an upgrade though, that upgrades basically everything. And we'll take some XP gain. And also some luck. We found a drill. It's apparently considered legendary. And I do enjoy legendary. We're going to get rid of one of our SMGs. I know they're definitely one of our stronger weapons. But legendary. 100% chance to gain one material when killing an enemy with a critical hit. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, work on that. 10% attack speed every 5 seconds until the end of the wave. We also found another potato. For now, we're settled for a duck. That's going to give us extra luck. Potatoes got to wait because it's expensive. We're going drilling. Mm, don't know how much the range in the drill is. We might have to get really close to enemies. And that's either really scary or not possible. I can't tell yet if I've drilled anyone. We can check the drill at the end of the round to see if we've gained materials. We're also going to need to get our crit chance up in order to properly take advantage of that. Uh, that's going to give us experience gain. This is going to give us everything except crit chance apparently, but that's fine. But now I want to find more legendary weapons. Oh, it's a boss round by the way. Uh, so we're going to get in there and drill the bosses as much as we can. Uh, this boss in front of us is actually melting quite quickly, so we're, we're going to finish that off first. One boss down. We're doing a lot of damage. Uh, I think we're also dodging and reposting them a lot. That's probably actually where a lot of that's coming from, because we're melting these things. Uh, yeah, okay, the bosses are apparently dead. Yep, they're dead that quickly. They hardly even hurt us. I mean, I guess that is up to 547 damage, so there's a 50% chance of us obliterating an enemy when they try and hit us. Your projectiles gain one bounce. Uh, we're gonna lose 25% damage, but I feel like we can actually put that back on very quickly. Like, here's literally 16% of that back, so we're only down by 9% damage at this point. And we get plus 15% explosion damage, uh, plus 8% damage, so we made that damage back already. There's another 10 luck, so we're up to about 200 luck. Okay, so now we're going with ricochet, so a bullet's uh, definitely, <laughs> okay, the ricochet is definitely worth it. At least in this case. Because now we're having trouble seeing the enemies again, and we're on wave 32. Did you know that a laser gun does 800 damage? So we're probably going to swap out our pistol for a laser gun because that's just ridiculous. And that's definitely going to help against things like bosses. So I just saw a hit for, yeah, 1,592. And that bounces. Well, that wave was easy. Plus 25% explosion size also is something we will take all day long. Plus a spider, 12% damage, plus 6% attack speed for every different weapon you have. We've got a lot of different weapons. Plus 2 luck for every 1% crit chance, so that's going to add 56 luck. Was I reading luck wrong earlier? We're at 204 harvesting. We're at 383 luck. Uh, whatever the case, we're still having trouble seeing the enemies on wave 34. Explosion size is going up another 25%. Which, yes, means they're getting pretty big. We also just found a tier 4 flamethrower that deals 128 times 8 burning damage. And it's got ricochet, so it burns two people alive. But they burn so quick they die instantly anyway, so it kind of takes the edge off at the fun. The question everyone wants to know about is how quickly can we kill the bosses on wave 40? Uh, turns out not that quickly. They are really, really strong at this point. It's crazy actually how much you're surviving considering how much damage we do. 
Maybe he's not drilling them hard enough. Oh, never mind. They got me. Run one, though. Task failed successfully. That was neat.